在纽交所上市的美国企业赛默菲施尔科技公司是全球科学服务领域的领导者，致力于帮助客户使世界更加的健康、更清洁、更安全。那赛默菲中国区总裁江志成在接受第一财经专访时表示，赛默菲在进入中国市场以来，不断扩大在华投资，为中国快速发展的科学研究、实验室建设、环保和工业过程控制等提供市场服务。Fisher has entered in China for more than 30 years. So, what kind of industry that Thermo Fisher is focusing on in China market? Thermo Fisher is focused in enabling customers to make the world healthier, cleaner, and safer. And as such, in China, we're focusing on industry like biopharma, healthcare, food safety, as well as environmental. But even more importantly. Our main uh, segment is academics, where we help thousands of scientists every year throughout their discovery and their science. The Shanghai Municipal Government uh, released the plan to establish an innovation center with global impact in 2015. On the other hand, we know Thermo Fisher has already established a China Innovation Center uh, in 2013. Do you see any spark between the two? Innovation is at the core of what we do. We spend every year $700 million in R&D. It's the largest budget in the industry. As such, when we looked at China a few years ago, we understood that to be successful in China, distributing product wasn't enough. And so we generated our China Innovation Center that is now used to create uh, in China for China product from the design phase, then all the way through the manufacturing. Now, we're very, very happy that uh, Shanghai was identified, uh, even from President Xi, as uh, um, a pioneer in innovation for the future. And as such, we're going to be happy to continue to collaborate with the Shanghai government and be part of that innovation journey that we started a couple of years earlier. China's economic growth has been slowing down in recent years, while on the other hand, Thermo Fisher has seen a significant growth in fourth quarter of last year. Uh, so what do you think, what is the key growth driver? And do you have any specific plans in the coming years? Absolutely. We focused in China on three main things. The first one is be very close to our customer. And we think about our customer are our vertical customers. So biopharma, healthcare, food safety, environmental, and to bring tailored solution to them. Secondly, we produce and design product in China for China. So product that are meant to be specific for our Chinese customer. And third, our reach. We have the largest e-commerce platform in the industry. And as such, we can reach our customers across China um, every day, 24-7. China government has been putting a lot of efforts in improving the healthcare, food safety, environment protection, and biopharma. We know those industries also Thermo Fisher's focal industries. So how do you see those industries uh, to develop and involve in the coming years? You know, certainly the healthcare and biopharma will represent uh, a big growth uh, in China. Uh, if you think at the investment that will go in those industries, today China is spending about 5.6% in GDP in healthcare spend. This will double up uh, in the next five years. The precision medicine initiatives bringing uh, 60 billion yuan into uh, the precision medicine funding uh, by 2030 that was announced from the government. So there's many different initiatives that will help the healthcare segment to scale and our growth as well. And then environmental, uh, whether it's uh, testing uh, uh, the PM 2.5 in big city, but more importantly, going and finding where the pollutants are at the source. So that segment will grow as well incredibly fast. So I do see very strong fundamental and growth vector in all the different segments we operate in for the foreseeable future. Thermo Fisher has been reinforcing its capabilities and enhancing its advantages through M&As and collaborations. Uh, so what do you think, what kind of uh, synergies uh, of M&As and collaborations to Thermo Fisher? You know, our strategy has been uh, to grow both organically as well as non-organically through M&A. Uh, recent acquisition have been, uh, you know, the largest one that we did in the past uh, was Life Technologies, 
uh, phenomenal acquisition integration has been uh, going extremely well. Uh, you probably recently heard the news about uh, um, the Guangdong CDC sequencing the Zika virus. This has been done with the LifeTech uh, uh, product. And so this is an example now we are generating synergy with the portfolio that we acquired. I'm extremely excited about our M&A strategy. I think it will be a big mm -hmm. element for growth for us for the next few years. Mm -hmm. From your perspective, among the areas of environmental protection, healthcare, genetic testing, which area you think will take the lead in achieving technology breakthroughs and which industry will have the prosperous outlook? You know, I think healthcare is so important as an industry and I do believe that that industry in China is going to be the one where we're going to experience the fastest growth. Uh, we mentioned about the investment coming into the segment and so I do believe that uh, genetic testing in healthcare through precision medicine is going to be a very, very fast growing segment in the next uh, five years. This will also help the biopharma industry, better testing, better treatment, and ultimately the government to invest wisely the money as more technology will help to be better at making decisions on treatment uh, and helping patients.